to kick us off, it is the author of New Lenses, A Prescription to See Your Adult Child Differently. Pam Reed, would you join me here on the red carpet, please? Hello. Hello. Well, I'm very excited. She's going to pull you a little closer to me. I'm very excited to talk about your book, New Lenses. What is this book about and why did you write it? This book is about a very unique family dynamic, um, one in which there is still an adult child or adult children still living at home, which oftentimes causes a bit of stress on the family, a strain on finances, and sometimes even a strain on relationships. Yeah, and you actually have a name for this, which I love. Can we share it with people? Yes, we can. It's FTL, Failure to Launch. Yeah, so if you have an adult child that has FTL, I always feel like we're doing a pharmaceutical commercial. If you or someone you love has FTL, <laughs> please call Pamela Reed. No. Um, so uh, if people have that, what's something that you share in the book or something you would want them to know uh, about that situation? I'd want you to know that there's hope that you can, with a new set of lenses, with just the right prescription, you can see your adult children differently. You can... Um, Find yourself in a situation where you can look at opportunities, you can help your young adult be self-sufficient, independent. You can even find yourself in a family dynamic that is just the opposite of what it may be today. Mm. It's such a powerful message, and I know you said it was a unique dynamic. I think it's more and more common these days, and I think that we just haven't been as parents trained in how to handle that, like what happens at that next phase, and so you really bring that in. I want to turn to questions from the audience, and let's see. Uh, let's talk to sh uh, Sarah. I think it's Sarah Sorrell from New York. She says, "When did you realize that you had a book to write?" I don't know the answer to this one. Am I excited to hear? Oh my goodness! Well, first of all, I do want to say that it is a common dynamic today. Forty-five percent of young adults are back at home for one reason or another, and that's a pretty big number. Um, but when did I know I had a book? I, I just, in the spirit of transparency, um, you know, just in a place where I had lost my sister and just really wanting to honor her in a special way, it was just time for me to do that thing, that very thing that I've been called to do. And Did you know that, though? I hear from people a lot, like, I've wanted to write a book since I was seven, I've wanted to write a book since I was nine, or did you literally just get the idea out of the blue a year ago? Oh, no. I would say it was about 14 years ago. I knew that I, I was an author. I knew back then. But life and circumstances and sometimes people kept me from experiencing that gift. So what was different? You pulled the trigger on this book four or five months ago. Mm -hmm. What was it that was different between 14 years and then four months? Like I said, the loss of my sister and just knowing that tomorrow is not promised uh -huh. and that you... Your journey is your journey, and I understand that. But if there is anything that is birthing itself within you that you have any fear about or any concerns about, but you know that it's something special for you, mm -hmm. I would encourage you to just step out, take a leap of faith, and do it. Yeah. Okay, I have another question for you. This is from Dr. P.K. Roberts Patton from Hendersonville, North Carolina. And Dr. P.K. says, was this experience a place of healing for you, or did you finish your book with old wounds mm. open in need of more writing and therapy? Ooh, Dr. Patton, that's a good one. Um, definitely a place of healing for me. It was certainly cathartic, you know, um, just grieving the loss of my sister, but also the dynamic of having uh, young adults in my own home and just going through that journey and seeing them for who they are and loving them through whatever the challenges are. When all was said and done, I, I just I describe in my book the joy that you can feel um, with your adult children at home, with your spouse, your significant other, whoever that may be, with the people in your life, at work, in your community. So the answer to your question is yes, I finished my book and just feeling healed and joyful and just awesome. One of the things we do that's different than how most people think, I think people think of writing a book, they're like Hemingway. Mm. Like, I don't know, you have a bottle of whiskey or whatever it is mm. he drank and mm. sit alone in a cabin and do mm. that. We have a community of writers. Mm -hmm. How do you think that uh, worked into the healing 
um, for you doing this with a group of you know 10 other authors here well it was absolutely amazing the level of love and support and this would be a great time for me to thank you Angela oh. for just your your belief okay your encouragement and you're just forcing us to meet deadlines oh, that um, and and but the, but the cohort of authors is just amazing each one is unique each one has a story each one has a message that will resonate with some of you out there today and because they were just beautiful people inside and out it just helped carry me throughout the whole process yeah what I always say about writing in a group which is so strange for people is whenever you think you can't there's mm -hmm. someone who you can see in the group who has things that are even harder for you and they're doing it. Mm -hmm. So you're like, well, I guess if that person could do it, I probably need to step up and do it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's peer pressure in a good way. Mm -hmm. I think there's a story with your book cover too, isn't there? I want to show people your book cover and let's share this story. Yes, there is. And I have to say, um, whatever your faith is, um, I can tell you that mine is very strong. And right at the time that I met my deadline and finished my manuscript, pressed the button and uploaded it, I had to think about my cover. And of course, if you write a book, you'll know that your cover is one of the most important aspects of your book. And a picture came to mind, and it was this picture that you see on the cover. And when I pressed the button and sent the picture, I just had to say a prayer, Father, is this the cover for my book? Is this the picture? And sure enough, it was so crystal clear to me that this is my daughter, who is a young adult, who is absolutely amazing. But the journey has been interesting, to say the mm -hmm. least. <laughs> they always are. <laughs> they always <laughs> are. But um, it's, a, it's an honor that she's on the cover. It's an honor to be part of this cohort, an honor to be a part of this process and this program. And things do not happen by chance. It is all in divine order. It is for a reason that I'm standing here on this red carpet with you and that all of my cohort author sisters and brothers are here to support me as well. Mm. It's been awesome. Well, I remember when I got this cover, Chayla, who is on our team, sent it to me. And I was like, oh my god, I love that picture. What stock photography site did we get it from? And she told me that it was your daughter. Yes, so yes. it's amazing. You can have this book and this cover in your Kindle library, even if you don't have a Kindle. Uh, the link is on the screen. Go ahead and get it. Share it with someone you love. Pam Reed, thank you, and congratulations on your book. Thank you, Dr. Laura.